Welcome back to What's Cooking in Mammy's Kitchen today. Thanks for joining me again. I've got a great show for you. It's something different. I'm cooking out of the box. I love cooking breakfast at the restaurant, but something that's so popular right now is the charcuterie boards, and I'm going to do a breakfast charcuterie board. I can't wait. I've already fried some bacon and sausage, and my house smells amazing. It's empty. No grandkids. They're all back to school, so just me and little old Maggie's going to have to eat all this food today, and she's got her squeaky toy with her, so just thought she's going to drive me crazy. I'm going to tell you. Maggie. Hey, put your squeaky toy up, trying to cook. This is gonna be so good and so decadent, so sweet and so savory. You're not gonna to wanna to stop watching. I'm telling you, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision today because it you've got cinnamon, you've got bacon and sausage, all local. We're gonna start with, we're just gonna roll right into this. We are making some good old apple French toast with pecans, apple French toast pecans, whatever. I've kind of got it all set up. Over here, I'm sorry, it just got so much going on. This is my charcuterie board. I'm getting it all fixed up. Got, oh, got my hat on. Annabelle bought me. Just loved it with my little tropical uh, suit on. It's still hot outside. It's still summer. We ain't into fall yet. We're still enjoying our pool and our tropical oasis here. But this food, mm, mm, mm. Oh, can't wait. So I'm gonna start it. I've got butter cinnamon. I've got a tablespoon of cornstarch for thickening, thickener, for thickener. Right here, we're going to get it all in here, and I'm going to add some green apples. Granny Smith, there's nothing better than Granny Smith apples, and we want them softened a little bit. And so we're gonna keep them in here, putting it in. I've got it in some butter, some brown sugar. I've got it in uh, some lemon juice. And I think the lemon juice is see the apples don't turn. So I'll put that over the apples when I'm chopped them up. We've got a tablespoon of corn starch. So we're gonna let that simmer a little bit. And while I'm doing that, so I've got some eggs. I've got about eight eggs here. Cinnamon again, nutmeg. So that kind of puts you in the fall mood, don't it? So I'm kind of twinkling, tippy-toeing into that fallish weather. I know every store in town has fall stuff. Went shopping with my sister and my mom the other day and they were picking up fall blankets and fall pumpkins. I got a little fall wine glass. That's about as far as I got, because I still want to enjoy my pool in summer and, of course, look at me. But we're going to pour this mixture, and it's got some heavy cream in it, brown sugar, vanilla, and we're going to pour it over our French toast. And this is French bread. I've cubed it into little small cubes. And that's actually going to be our cup. So I'm gonna get a fork and kind of leave that in there about 15 minutes. Oh, you know, you can add some pumpkin seasonings when you, when you get ready. And we're gonna let this set for about 15 minutes. My apples are actually simmering. They're gonna be so good. We're gonna put this in these cups. We're gonna dig down deep with the spoon. We're gonna put these apples in there. We're gonna bake them like our cupcake. And then we're gonna put some pecan topping on top. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be awesome. So you can hear that simmer. Oh, that smells amazing. I do French toast a lot at the restaurant and mm-mm. This is gonna be good. It's almost like a French toast casserole and a bite. Remember, we're making them for the charcuterie board, so you just want them bites. That's what that's gonna be. I'm gonna get all of this in the oven, and then we're gonna start on something really good and savory. You come back, stay tuned.